All right, my next guest is on the air with me right about now. How's it going, man? Good, how are you? Good, man. Uh, thank you so much for being on the show. I appreciate it. I appreciate y'all for having me on. Yeah, so I probably should have asked you this beforehand, but I just wanted to make sure. Uh, how do you pronounce your name, man? So the name is pronounced Croesus. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. Just wanted to make sure. Uh, and again, thanks for being on. So I, I've been hearing your stuff for quite a while. Um, I'm not sure if we met in person or not, but I've been hearing about you and I've heard your music. It sounds pretty cool. Sounds incredible. And uh, I'm glad I have you on the show, man. Have someone, you know, different type of vibe you know what i'm saying so i'm happy yeah man you. thank you so much so um how did you get starting into music well when i was like 13 uh i got my first doll software on the mac computer and my parents like upstairs at their house and just started messing around like i had previously been taught how to play the piano and the guitar and like everything in like a traditional way so I transitioned to computer software and just started, like, recording clips of actual instruments. But then I learned about, like, sampling and how you can actually get into a much more uh, diverse portfolio of sound that you can use to develop, you know, your own personal song style. So it turned into doing, like, weird 2008, like, Owl City-esque electronic music, which eventually transitioned into, like, EDM when I found out about, like, Skrillex when he came up in 2012, and so ever since then I tried to learn how to make, you know, dubstep, future bass, uh, kind of the stuff that is played at, you know, festivals and like that whole trend that's been popping up, and that's kind of why I got into the style that I am in, because I ended up starting to go to festivals and experience it from the other side, and I realized that it's really like a big deal for people, and it really uplifts people and makes them happy to go and dance and like let go, and be a part of a really big experience so that's kind of why i got into you know edm production yeah uh, edm you know those three letters are definitely synonymous when it comes to having a good time you yeah know, you go you go to a club you go to a party you got the dj playing all types of music and then they put that edm in and it's like everybody's ready to go Everybody's fist yeah, man. Up and everybody's jumping up and down, you know, having a good time and everything. And uh yeah. I, I, I am guilty of getting turned up to EDM music. I'm I'm not ashamed of yeah. whatsoever. Like the, the the you know, I'm more of a fist pumping guy, not a jump up and down a little bit here and there. Oh yeah. Um so, you know, with that now, you know, with EDM like as far as, you know, the music and just the vibe that goes with it, like, you know, some people may not be familiar with it or, you know, just hear music here and there. But, you know, you know, from your perspective as a producer, how would you describe EDM? What, what does it mean to you as someone that's in that realm of music, per se? I would say that it's like an overarching meta genre for a large like myriad of different sub genres so you have things that are derivative of like the hip hop genre like trap and like uh trap in the EDM sense because trap is also a thing in hip hop culture but like trap in the EDM sense meaning like you have like basses that are sampled in the same way that they are in dubstep songs over like a hip hop beat and you have like you know artists that artists that make things like that examples would be like nitty gritty and like nightmare but then you also have, like, the house, like, traditional, like, French house side of things, which is carried on through, like, Mala and Chami and, like, all these artists that are still keeping that, you know, part of it alive. And there's, you know, Dubstep, which is going to be represented by really big names like Getter, Skrillex, uh, you know, Borgor. And then, you know, even further, you know, into Future Bass, which is the more, like, beautiful texture of it uh you know where you have all the like melodic music that kind of moves a little bit slower and has more like chords and is a little bit more like dynamic so i think edm is like 
an umbrella statement to describe all of those different things because it's such a vast different, you know, like subcultures mixing together of different kinds of music. So it kind of covers all those things and describes all of them in a blanketing way. I definitely understand where you're coming from with that one. It definitely feels like majority of music that you hear, whether it's on the radio or maybe, you know, at your local artist here and there, you know, there might be some EDM influence somewhere. Um, yeah. You know, to, 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 you know, musically or sonically and everything. So I, I like EDM music. I, I enjoy it. Especially going out with friends, enjoying myself, having a good time. Um, you know, as as you know, for you, like who are some other friends or fellow musicians that you know from the local music scene that's that does EDM that maybe someone like myself should at least give a listen or keep an eye on per se. Yeah, for sure. Like, actually, in the central Kentucky area, um, I hang out with a lot of uh, the EDM, you know, crowd, and I've met a lot of people, uh, you know, through me playing, like, long nights at, at, you know, bars or venues, and then kind of going out and hanging out and meeting all these artists. So some of the people that I've done things with that are definitely worth a listen would be uh, Coffins. So I'm actually playing next month a back-to-back set with him on the 14th at the Burrow Arcade. Definitely excited to announce that. Uh, we've worked together before. It's like the word cough and then with I-N-Z at the end. Um, you know, what's cool about him is that he really knows how to tie in, like, musical pop culture reference uh, and, like, put it together with the EDM. And, and he kind of makes, like, a really relatable and fun show. And then, you know, of course there's myself, and I, I usually, when I perform, I do... Uh, usually more of like the heavy dubstep, uh, the real, the real heavy, gritty, sort of crazy, you know, LSD influenced sort of music. And then there's Sage, who's a friend of mine, S-A-G-3. Um, he's actually from, well, he currently lives in Bowling Green, but he and I have played together a couple of times. He's, he does a lot more of like the rhythm, like the kind of reggae inspired dubstep and like the you know, trap sort of vibe. So it's kind of cool when I think about it now that, now that we talk about it, we all kind of have like an area that we work in sort of different, just like how the, you know, genre itself is diverse. We all have a diverse, different skill set and way that we uh, perform a show as far as the genre is concerned. I'm definitely familiar with Coffins for sure. I've seen the name on posters here and there and, you know, Facebook events. And uh-huh. you know, the other guy that you mentioned with the with the reggae mixed with the uh, EDM and stuff, I've never heard reggae and EDM to go together before. But that I like, I do love me some reggae, so I may have to check that other person out too. Um, oh yeah, like that's a whole kind of like weird underground like cut of dubstep that is done is almost like a reggae influence. Uh, sort of charge to it. it it's a really cool kind of music I would definitely recommend checking it out but all those guys are super cool dudes and very excited to you know be playing that show next month it'll be really fun to you know try to keep the EDM scene in Lexington going because you know not a whole lot happens it, there's a little bit more support for like live bands out here but we definitely try to boost the scene I think it's really growing in the last year or two that's definitely in- encouraging to hear, and you know I I do heavily support local music to the fullest, and i definitely want to start promoting, you know, people like yourself and Coffins and everyone else of that realm, you know, because you know y'all definitely bring something different to the table, and it's definitely some good times in store, if you know if people, you know. People obviously, you know, we're in the weekends. People get out the house, you know, want options, and there's plenty of options. And you know, you go to a show like y'all, it definitely feels like it's gonna be a good time. You know, and just yeah, head nodding, 
you know, fist pumping and things like that. So and everybody's got a drink and everyone's just having a good time and yeah, man. Pretty, pretty. And, and it's good for the bars too because you know they bring in a lot of people from like the colleges and stuff, and there's a lot of revenue to be generated for the city there as well. So another reason why it's important to have us around. Very, very true. You know, school season already started. You know, obviously, so you know people want to want places to go. You know. And I obviously, you know, you know, education comes first. So make sure you get them, them, them good grades in. Then you can go party yeah. and have a good time. Then you, yeah. So pretty much. So, you know, a little PSA here and there on this show. Uh, so yeah. You, you mentioned the show that you got coming up. Um, yeah. What, what else you have in the works as far as maybe new music, new mixes that you're working on? What, what else you yeah, got? Yeah. Yeah. Um... Well, I'm I'm definitely down to tease uh, a couple of new things. So I haven't announced on social media yet, but I do have a really cool uh, flip of a previous song that I've done that I'm working on right now. Uh, It's it's really, really, really heavy. Very excited to release it. It's coming really soon. Uh, Also, I'm uh, actually working on my first official remix for another artist, so... There's at least two projects coming in the works. Uh, I need to do a third as well because uh, there's a chance that, you know, I could actually be trying to get a song distributed uh, soon. So a couple of new things will be coming out on social media. Um, otherwise, there's that show. Um, there may be some bookings in Louisville next month as well. So for, you know, our family that's out to the more western part of Kentucky, you know, you make it to make it to have a good time and have me come out. Cool, cool. And, you know, the Burl Arcade, that is a spot to be. If you... Yeah, it's actually going to be my first time ever being at that venue. Yeah, the the Burl Arcade, like, if you are a true video game arcade head, all these old school games they had, you know, Mortal Kombat, Tekken, the pinball games, NBA Jam. Oh, yeah. And then you can enjoy some music while you're playing your games. That's a recipe for a good time. So go check out the show yeah. at the Burl Arcade. Um, right next to, you know, the big Burl building. But, but go to the Burl Arcade and check this fellow out and uh, enjoy you some music uh, for sure. Uh, where can people go and uh, hear um, your your music, your tunes, your mixes, and where can also people check you out on social media? So all my content uh, is currently re- distributed by myself onto SoundCloud. So people can go to soundcloud.com slash Krosis, K-R-O-S-I-S, official, uh, and they can subscribe to make sure that they don't miss, you know, when these new two or three releases are coming up really soon, which they don't want to. Um, and then on Twitter and Instagram, I can be found at Croesus Official. Same thing, just with, a, you know, that part without the rest of the URL. Uh, finally, uh, I also do Snapchat. as Snapchat at Croesus Official, so I can be followed there to see behind the scenes, you know, what goes on uh, before and after sets at shows, you know, hanging out with friends that I actually know in person so you can kind of get to know what I do outside of just performance, but those are all the platforms where I can be watched the most closely. Man, it was great chatting with you, you know, getting to know you, what you bring to the table here in the local music scene and everyone else, you know, that's familiar with your work. So, um, continue success, man. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to try to make it to the Borough Arcade, and if not, I'll see you at a future shows for sure. Um, but thanks, man, for being on. I appreciate it. Absolutely, man. I really had a good time being on. You know, I'd love to be on again in the future. Just, you know, hit me up sometime. And you know, I you know, I do play some original music from time to time, but I like to play some mm-hmm. of your, your mixes in the future, you know. Yeah, I actually do have a recorded live mix uh, that I could definitely communicate with you we could get that sampled on the show yeah yeah for sure yeah we'll, we'll, we'll talk for sure awesome all right man you you enjoy your weekend enjoy the rest of your uh weekend and uh 
Thanks again, man. Man, yeah, you have a good one. All right, bye-bye. All right, see ya. That was...